the uh, main reason is we started early. So we are decided to focus on basement as the driver of the company. We are then able to access uh, the lowest risk acreage in the UK at the time and build a very good portfolio of rocks that had already been drilled, the oil had been found, so we knew there was oil in the basement, so it was a low risk opportunity. How we've differentiated ourselves is focusing on basement uh, and, uh, and nothing else and building up uh, an understanding of the technology application and, uh, and, and basically just getting after it. In the case of Lancaster, we've drilled five wells, each of them tested, so we've got a very good uh, handle of how that reservoir is behaving. Of course, in the region of the wells, and in our other discoveries, we find that the reservoir behaves much as we see at Lancaster, so that, that gives us strong confidence. With respect to the EPS, what we're actually looking at is the long-term productivity of the reservoir and how wells could talk to one another because reserves are all to do with how much we can get out for a given investment and basically our interwell testing will help us understand that to a higher degree than we can now. So where we are on the, uh, the EPS is that we've now completed all the, uh, the offshore work, they did the surf installation, the wells are now tied into, into the buoy and it's just what's happening with the, uh, the Akamazoo, which is currently in Dubai, uh, awaiting the final work before sea trials. And then after that, it should be sailing to Rotterdam for a little bit of uh, work, uh, the uh, addition of the stack, and then off, off to Lancaster. And then, of course, it's just the uh, completions and, and taking us to first oil. So yeah, very confident for that first oil date. So our risk mitigation falls into uh, three parts, basically. Well, number one, the actual EPS is extremely simple. It couldn't be a more simple development if you, if, you, if you tried. It's two wells that we'd already drilled and tested, tied back to an FPSO. The FPSO it has already demonstrated that it can uh, produce the kind of oil that we're going to be producing from Lancaster, so there's no changes to the upside, uh, uh, top sides. And then uh, the further point is that we have a, uh, an unusual contracting strategy whereby we incentivize uh, our tier one contractors to get things done on time and to produce oil. We did a deal now because well, number one, it's, uh, it's nothing to do with the EPS, uh, it's just the GWA, all our other assets we retain 100% and it allows us to have two strings to our business, it allows us to bring in early oil and if all goes well we should be targeting net uh, 750 million barrels reserve by the mid-20s with additional upside. So it's the right thing to do, it really accelerates the growth of the company and adds real value to the shareholders. Well, like minds is a, is a key point, um, they're a great uh, group to work with. They uh, certainly understand uh, basement and we have a, a shared view of how to uh, accelerate the GWA. And, uh, and basically, of course, um, a strong uh, capital and uh, engineering and uh, project management skills. So they're, they're a good fit. We've always said we're looking for a, um, an operator for our, our assets, and uh, they fit that bill uh, admirably. The first phase is, is, is drilling uh, three horizontal wells on a GWA. These will be tested, and, and, uh, and uh, their evaluation used to uh, further refine the GWA resources. But that's, as I said earlier, funded by uh, Spirit. The next phase uh, is to tie back one of those wells to the Akamazoo and undertake modifications to the vessel and also uh, inst installation of uh, the pipeline to the local gas infrastructure. That is funded, 50% um, of our contribution to that is funded by Spirit. The third stage is uh, to drill three more development wells on the GWA, that would give us a total six well stock to a future um, field development. So the fourth stage is feed, so that's obviously planning for that eventuality and at that point Spirit will become the operator. But the fifth stage is um, bringing in the, uh, an FPSO, either a, a new build or uh, if there's a vessel available that will um, be targeting this um, potential half a billion barrels and at that point we have a carry up to 250 million dollars. So by the mid 20s we should be should have two new full field developments on so that's the GWA which I've just described and also Lancaster. 
basically sail away of the uh, Akama Zoo. Then uh, the connection of the Akama Zoo to the boy out on the, on the field. And of course, we'll be doing the commissioning leading to first oil in the first half of 2019. However, 2019 is not now. It's not just all about oil. We've got three wells on the GWA that's going to be drilled throughout the year, and each of those will be tested. So they will be, uh, in a success case, being bringing some really good news to our uh, investors. So they've been chosen uh, for a number of reasons. For one, to demonstrate uh, if there is any compartmentalization across uh, the asset. Two, to provide proximity so that uh, one of the wells could be tied back to the uh, Akima Zoo, and that would be the, the Lincoln Well, which is the first well in, uh, in, in the sequence. And the other point is the depths of these wells, if they do produce hydrocarbon, and, that, and if there's no compartmentalization, they should define an ore gradient, which we can use to better refine the resources. So uh, the first well will be Lincoln, and that will be followed by uh, the two on uh, Warwick. So every uh, fault we've drilled through so far on our, our discoveries has not acted as a pressure barrier. So these are these faults are intra -base, uh, basement faults, and we don't believe that they're going to be pressure barriers. However, in the eventuality they are, we will be testing their potential for pressure seal with this distribution of the three wells. Will it affect our uh, current resource figures? No, because the current resource figures assume that there is a, is a barrier between uh, uh, Lincoln and, and Warwick. 